All right, bear with me. There's a lot of noise in the background and cranes in the horizon. Uh, my neighborhood was leveled by a tornado. Um, no real easy way to say that. My current front yard looks like this. Um, this is one of the few trees that has some of it still remaining. There's still stuff ready to fall down. Uh, as you can see, the side of my house, the power lines were ripped clean off the side of the house and are sitting in a jumble up there. And not to be lost in anything I say in this video, but we had it a thousand times more lucky than a lot of my neighbors. Um, my neighbor's van is parked right there because it was pulled out because trees fell on the front of it, uh, the front of their house. We zoom in. You can't even get into it. These trees fell across. They just had them cut out recently. Um, like I said, the, the horizon is just scattered with all these cranes everywhere. And um, let's show you, show you what my backyard looks like. There was a half acre of land back here, but now my backyard looks like this. Tree, tree. Tree falling down, tree falling down, tree falling down, tree falling down. You get the gist. Um, whatever this tree is made out of, it must be vibranium because it's the only tree remaining in our yard, except for that one in the front that I showed you, but that sustained a good bit of damage. But even this is from vib vibranium tree. Only one big branch fell. Um, let me go back over here. Our fence is pretty much toast in a lot of sections. But again, I must stress this. We are one of the people that had it lucky. I'm not trying to say, oh, poor me, poor me. Say poor me for a lot of people that can't go back into their house. Our house is at least livable right now. I mean, we're, we're, we have a generator here at our house. We're offering people to come over, just do like charge your cell phone, put your, put your you know, milk or whatever in our refrigerator. And we're trying to help out. But um, this is the colossal mess. This is all my property as well. My property goes, um, that'd be, well, it's hard to point out where exactly it goes. Uh, it's like right beyond right here. There's a nice little mosquito swamp now from where this tree upended. Uh, this shed we had put in not even a year ago. It's got structural damage on the roof. Things fell in, but in the grand scheme of things, <laughs> complaining about a shed being broken right now ain't much. Uh, all right, bear with me as I try and not fall on camera and climb over obstacles here. And another dangerous thing that people need to realize in storms like this, you gotta watch where you walk because look over my head. That stuff is gonna fall down anytime soon. So that being said, we're gonna scurry through this section. And like half of my backyard is this. My project this morning was um, getting as many sticks together as I could that it could physically move and just put them in a big pile just to consolidate things just so there's there's at least the area for the dogs to the roam back here and whatnot. My victory garden up there is shot. But again, in the grand scheme of things, I kind of like that like this thing is not a tree that we had planted in our yard. It just kind of somehow migrated from behind the fence line to right here. And there's like part of a small tree that's just like erect in the middle of the yard that that's that's not where that goes I mean, it's probably a branch I don't know whatever it's a mess it's a big mess so let's go along the front here so yeah this is half our backyard just consumed with this the um, there's another crane just to show you this it's been utter insanity here um, my kids place set used to be right here. You can kind of see the area where the land's bare and I moved this thing over where the place set was it used to be right here. The wind picked it up, threw it over the fence here and it landed in my neighbor's yard. This thing was, it was around 1800 pounds. Like it didn't even break through the fence completely. It literally lifted up and over and landed upside down on its head. There used to be a long section that came out with swings on it. It, the tornado just tossed that shit into my neighbor's yard. Um, 
my neighbor here, used to be a whole line of pine trees. Like you couldn't even like see, you couldn't even see my neighbor's house before. Those pine trees, all on the ground. All cut out, thrown to the ground, just in a pile. My neighbor's house here, they can't even live in the house right now because so much rainwater and whatnot came in. We'll zoom in here through their chimney. They just got a tree off of the roof there. And that's another thing too is like, you know, we want this shit cleaned up, but we haven't even called or bothered anyone as far as getting this. Cause right now our house don't have anything on it. These people need their shit cleaned off their house before we do. We're not even, this can stay here for weeks or months if it has to. If that means someone else gets a chance to get their house somewhat livable again. There's Archfiend's Victory Garden. Never really showed it on camera for you guys this year. Peppers, Roma tomatoes, hot peppers. Um, my cantaloupes are kind of all just blown up on the side. They already picked the cantaloupes. They already got cropped. A little eggplant action. Okay, that concludes the produce portion of the episode. And we have another tree that fell down in my yard right now. And I showed this on Twitter. Let me show you what it looks like. Um, there's our one of our Fios lines or whatever cable lines going into the house. And I said that when this fell, it kind of looks like it's flipping the middle finger. No, does anyone else see that? Is it just me? No. Anyway, I forgot I left this out yesterday. It's a good thing I came up here to show you the tree flipping the bird. But um, uh, as to when the power is going to be back, let me go. Let me go and show you what pretty much every telephone pole looks like in my neighborhood right now. And by the way, I just, just to like have some sort of humor in this, I took like these solar powered lights and I pointed them in like in my front yard over like all the trees and stuff that have fallen down. And I just like, you know, just to accent it and get, get some light. Everywhere, there's wires down. But let me show you guys what every single power line looks like right now. So, right here, you see right in there, used to be a telephone pole, it snapped in half. Every power line is like on the ground like this, everywhere. And you can barely get through any parts of the neighborhood because they have just like a car space carved in here and there to get in and out. Anyway. That's what I'm going to be dealing with for weeks to months on end. But again, I have a house that's actually safe to live in. Um, there's a lot of FEMA assistance going on right now in the area. And uh, it's just, it was scary. It was very scary. We got to the basement and I'm down there with my wife and my two sons. And I can't even express to you how horrific it was the sound of the tornado coming through hearing things crashing down all around us the, the power like flickering and going out suddenly and all that and, and I just really really put things into perspective but the one thing that really got put in perspective when the, the dust settled as they say is that we were lucky here we were lucky here because there's people that died in the area here not too far away there's people that can't go back to their house until it's almost built from scratch so oh yeah here's um i'll show you one other thing this thing was on top of our chimney it's a good 10 10 ish pounds or whatever chimney's up over there we found this in the yard like somewhere over here it just got tossed a good hundred feet and so yeah um i'm gonna go back to cleaning up um 
couldn't even get it couldn't even get out of my neighborhood till this morning uh, no one could come or come or go they had the police closed off our entire half of town like you couldn't come in unless you were a resident and the people that could come in they had to park their cars miles away and walk to their homes because you physically could not drive a car anywhere uh, the night of the tornado there was just paramedics and police on foot everywhere doing wellness checks just to make just to check to see if people were alive because people had no way to communicate cell phone towers were down high tension wires were down uh, it just you it was it was the biggest massive chaos i've ever been a part of and it's st it's still ongoing i mean things aren't going to be normal here for quite some time the entire landscape of the neighborhood like i said houses are leveled in this area houses are, aren't going to be lived in i'm not going to see neighbors that i've known for years for you know who knows how long um anyways just wanted to update you um don't expect me to be um out there with football videos because football is so far down on my list of priorities right now in life and it's crazy that i'm just like you know bullshitting with people on twitter about this and that and then this happens it puts everything in life in perspective so everyone take it easy stay safe i'm fine my family's fine and that's all that really matters at the end of things right now. We're all happy and healthy and no one got permanently injured. Everything we have here will be cleaned up, replaced, repaired, what have you. That is all.